Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and today for lunch we're going to a restaurant, a Thai seafood restaurant that only has one table. It's a real restaurant, but you have to reserve the table. They do one meal for lunch and one meal for dinner. Uh, so two meals a day, but just one table. I'm gonna share, we're gonna have a chance to watch them as they do some of the cooking. We're gonna eat a bunch of seafood, and I'm gonna <laughs> share this entire meal with you in this video. Okay, and here we are. What? Oh, you're right into the bush. <laughs> here we are, we have arrived. This really is like, I mean, it's inside of their home in their compound. We, he opened the gate, we drove inside, and we're gonna be able definitely to see some of the cooking. Okay, so step inside and this is the dining room. Awesome. This must be the one table. But we're just. Why are you here to meet all the other cars? The leg. You're not. And the man. I'm not going to speak to the man. Because the man. I'm not going to speak to 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 the man. ซีฟู้ดอยู่แล้วก็เลยอยากเอาอาหารทะเลออร์แกนิกแท้ๆมาขายในกรุงเทพทำเป็นเดลิเวอรี่ก็ลูกค้าก็บอกว่าเออเฮียเปิดให้สักโต๊ะหนึ่งให้ลูกค้าเขาจองเขาจะจองมาล่วงหน้าอย่างพวกนี้จะมาเขาก็จะโทรมาวันนี้เคลียร์เรียบร้อยแล้วเขาก็จะสั่งอาหารไว้เพราะว่าเราจะได้เตรียมวัตถุดิบให้พร้อมพอลูกค้ามาถึงปุ๊บเราก็ค่อยๆลงมือทํา10 15 20นาทีก็ได้ทานแล้วแล้วได้ทานอร่อยแล้วเราทําร้อนๆให้ผมบอกกับลูกค้าเลยนะว่าถ้าจานไหนไม่สดนะ Just talking with the owner, they're actually from southern Thailand in the province called Yala, but they get the seafood from Trat, which is from the eastern part of Thailand, and it's one of the best places in Thailand for seafood. Um, and now just coming to the backyard here, where I think they're, we're gonna see some of the cooking. <laughs> Those ingredients were just in the kitchen now, so they do have a proper full-size kitchen back here. Very home-style restaurant, and this seafood that they have, they're already steaming the bakapong, which is this uh, barramundi, but they just pulled out the massive tiger prawns. That's like a foot-long, a foot-long tiger shrimp. Oh man, you ready to eat those? Yeah, dude, they're so, they're so pretty. Like crazy big, I can do. Oh, this is a cool kitchen. Yeah, and they are getting straight to cooking. Um, I, I believe that's a cuttlefish. Um, and then you just tossed it into hot water just to like clean it basically. And then for those giant tiger shrimp, uh, they're gonna grill those. But we're also getting a fish. We actually pre-ordered last night. You got a pre-order here as well, so they have the seafood, so they know what you want. Cuttlefish, what he did is he scored them, just cut them so the guy that's gonna like open them up. Uh, then he seasoned them with garlic, minced up some garlic, some soy sauce, some other, I think some white pepper, um, and then just mix that up into a marinade, and that's also good. The cuttlefish is gonna grill as well after those tiger prawns. I almost forgot about the pakung that we ordered, and that's like a, it's a shrimp, it's not really a salad, it's more of like a shrimp mix, but it's not a hot dish, it's usually more of a cold dish. Um, so he just blanched off those shrimp, and now he's gonna chop up some of the ingredients to mix with it, some of the lemongrass. which is the Asian sea bass steamed. We just pulled that out of the steamer and now he's making the sauce, which is, that's nam stock, like a 
uh, broth that he uses to put in a bunch of chopped chilies, pounded chilies and garlic. Yeah, and also into that sauce went a bunch of fresh lime juice and a bunch of fish sauce and he just kind of stirring that around, let it mingle at all the flavors mingle. That's gonna go directly, that's gonna be just poured over the fish. To So good though. Oh man, the garlic, the chilies, the lime juice, the acidity of that lime juice, the fish sauce, they're all just melting and mingling. King, are you eating already? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had anything. Can come, can die come. Okay, first bite in the kitchen. Thank you. The dish that he's making is uh, which is, <laughs> he is, that was a massive bowl of chilies and garlic. That's the fish that she fried, which is uh, barracuda, which is barracuda. Fried the pieces of the fish, and then he's stir frying it up. Butter, chilies, now he's adding in some spices. Oh man, that's just gonna be caked in chilies and garlic. Oh. For sure, the reason, I mean, their fish is so fresh, their barramundi, it, they keep a tank outside. I believe they get the fish and then they just keep them here alive so that until you eat them. But that, that makes such a huge difference and everything here, like top quality, top freshness, and you taste the difference. And back to the dining room, to the single table to eat. Everything is ready in like 30 minutes. Oh, they just like flew on those recipes. All the food is ready, everything is on the table. It is just one single table. Everything they cook is for you, which is incredible. And they're so like hospitable and so welcoming. Wow. That we didn't order last night pre-order on spot. Uh, Bu Kai Dong, which is a crab with eggs, a female crab. It's kind of marinated and then topped with seafood sauce. Everything on the table looks good, so I'm just gonna have to try the first thing that's in front of me. And those chilies are calling my name for the first bite. <laughs> Look at that, the, the chilies and garlic are just caked onto every single piece. What they did was they take bone, they had like fillets of barracuda. Uh, slightly battered, then deep fried, then they took it out of the oil. Then he stir fried it in butter, chilies, and just a heap of chilies and garlic. Um, added in some seasoning, and just like that, just caked on. It's clinging to every piece of fish. First bite to begin to, to start off the seafood feast. <laughs> oh, wow. It's actually, it's not as spicy as it looks. But I think it's kind of a slow heat as well. The chilies are so flavorful. And they almost even have like a sour chili flavor to them. Mm -hmm. With that garlic, it's just like sharp and flavorful. And that barracuda is just, it's so meaty it's huge, and crispy. It's just total meat, no bones, comfort food. Right and the there. butter and garlic. Mm -hmm. I gotta have one more. This has to be with rice, yes. What? <laughs> and the texture of the, because the barracuda is so firm. It's like, almost like chicken, it's so firm. So that just holds up because it's deep fried. It's twice cooked, um, which just, oh, I'm gonna add some more chilies and garlic. Oh, look at that. What a, what a dish, what a, what a flavor, just like bursting, just outpouring from those chilies and garlic. Dude. Uh -uh. Oh, not help. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Mm. Might have to eat that whole plate before moving on to the next dish. Okay, let's move on to the next dish. Kind of rehydrated. Well, this is the ultimate reducing fish. But it's so much lime too. So much lime juice in there. So much garlic.
onto the rice. Let me just, wait there, let me just add a little bit more of the, the soup on there. And again, yeah, the chilies and garlic and the fresh fish. Yeah, follow immediately with a spoon to get the full flavor effect. Mm. Again, it's just like, that's just the real taste. It's just <clears throat> sharply sour. The garlic like singes your tongue a little bit. Yeah. The chilies are not overpowering, but they're like immense flavor. And then just, mm. you can taste the freshness of the bakapong because it's of that texture, of the flakiness. That is a perfect bakapong mana actually. It's just like, it's everything you want in that dish. All right, let's do a massive prawn. Joel, <laughs> making sure to save as much of the, the tamale as possible. Oh. Kind of peel off those bottom leg sections. Wow. Oh. Like, dude, look at how thick that meat is. It's like, a, it's like three centimeters in diameter. Dude, the juices are just pouring out of here too. Dude, yep. the thickness of that meat. Dude, my, arm, that. my arm is just getting sprayed by, by prawn juice. That is amazing. Because it's curled, but if you spread it out, that's easily the, the size of your face almost. Let's both dip into this sauce. Joel, oh it's dip. Gosh, dude. <laughs> dude. The two dude. together are the dude, entire bowl. On. This is not a one-biter. <laughs> That is so thick. <laughs> and like the sweet muscular, muscularness of it. Wow. Their num jim, the, the seafood sauce is really good as well. Yeah. It's very, I think it's just uh, the, the green chilies and garlic. And then a little bit of sweetness to balance, plus salt and fish sauce. The biggest reason why those tiger prawns are so good is because of their texture, is because of their naturalness, is because they're wild tiger prawns rather than farmed, which is so common throughout Thailand. But yeah, they're wild. Mm -hmm. And you taste that, especially in the texture and the sweetness mm, and the muscularness. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's time to try some more. The other shrimp dish, which is called plak gung, which is, uh, it's, it is, I guess it's, a, it's like a mixture, it's a salad. Um, they blanched the shrimp, then they mixed in he finally chopped up the lemongrass. There's some different herbs in there. Um, they added in some shallots, some roasted chili paste, and then just mixed that all up. Rehydrated. And these shrimp are are not too shabby either. But after <laughs> but eating them after those giant ones, they look like they look shrimpy. <laughs> they look tiny. <laughs> So juicy. There's aggression. Mm. The lemongrass in there. The chilies, the shallot. A little bit sweet, spicy, and like full of herbs and lemongrass. You can really mm. taste that. The flavor of the, the shrimp texture, meat is yeah. so clean, so yeah. like smooth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Herbs and the lemongrass in that. Okay, next up for the cuttlefish. Look at it's so beautiful too. Yeah. The way they've cut it, the way they've sliced it. Yeah. And when he grilled it, he did put little like ridges into it, little cuts in it to make it cook better, I believe. When they served it, then they cut it in the same places to just make it easy to get so you get rings. Yeah, just go for it. Or pick it up with your fingers, see? <laughs> I think it's better. Dip it in the sauce. Like it's chewy, but not. But then it snaps. It's like a chewiness that only lasts for a second. 
I think that has to do with number one, the quality of it, number two, the way they cooked it, and number three, the way they like scored it, right? Mm. To give it that texture. And it's so silky in texture too. Mm. Mm. The texture of that, yeah. That's like some of the best cuttlefish you'll ever have. And just, he just lightly marinated it. So, like most of the sauce, I mean, it remains like pure cuttlefish taste, just with the sauce. Oh, you're making Oh, too many of them. I think it's one of the best bakugong no manos, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feels like we should be on the sea somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we have a whole another side of that fish, which I'm very happy about. I mean, I mean, Oh, the ratio of how much oh. garlic there is in there. Garlic, chilies, lime. Look at that. You want this fish to re-swim, re-swim in the sauce. You want as much of that soup as you can get per bite. You want to maximize. Ooh, that broth, that soup is so pure. And, like, it is the perfect ratio. Idea that I need to try. Oh, oh my gosh. Actually, just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little more chilies onto it here, too, from this dish. Okay, there we go. That is a that is a perfect layered bite of chilies, garlic, and seafood sauce. Dude, I have to follow such genius. Look at that. Look at that bite. Cheers, dude. Cheers. What a bite. <laughs> mm. That's just like, it's even more flavor. Because then you get the brightness of, like that is the acidity mm, 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 of mm. the sauce. Exactly. Okay, we gotta move on to the, to the crab. Okay. Final dish we have to try is the bu kai dong, which is the crab. Raw crab marinated in fish sauce and other like salty things. And then, just fully drenched in the seafood sauce. Usually it's even kind of served kind of frozen, so you almost have like crab lollipops, crab ice cream sometimes it's called. But normally you just pick up one of these guys. I'll go for this. Look at that. The eggs are just sprouting and melting. The roe is just sprouting and melting. And you just bite it like a drone kick. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is it's straight up crab ice cream. Slightly frozen. It has to be like, like half frozen, that's when it's the best because you get a little bit of like icy crunch cut. It's so cold and refreshing. It's so rich, like a duck egg yolk, but even richer. And then with that spicy, garlicky, acidic sauce to it. An explosion of a bite. <laughs> that's gonna be a... <laughs> and then add on some more seafood sauce. <laughs> a bite of crab love. Wow. <laughs> All that raw garlic, the raw chilies. Ooh. Oh, that's a, that's a tongue overdose right there. I mean, what makes this is the seafood sauce, but then of course the fresh seafood, and that's, yeah, fantastic. It's so refreshing. The only thing I can think of that would that would be better than eating this sauce is bathing in it. <laughs> and that would be the greatest bath of your life. Okay, and then for dessert, donuts. And I'm talking about shrimp donuts. Tadman gong. So they're made into a don donut formation. Oh. Oh, Oh, Juan. Mmm. Yeah, it's really good though. <laughs> it's so crunchy. And so juicy shrimpy on the inside. This is all I want for dessert. And then this is like a sweet sauce that you typically dip. So comforting good. Mmm. 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 cup. The sauce is good too. It's like, it's sweet, but salty. Sweet but salty, which contrasts it. And that wraps up 
Oh, oh, there's pot again. Oh, and they take so long to cool down because they're so like stuffed, packed, mm -hmm. condensed. That wraps up this incredible seafood meal in Bangkok. <laughs> oh, my God. What's amazing about this place is how the entire restaurant is run by their amazing family and you talk to them, you, you, they, make, they make you feel like you're part of their family. Our total bill came to 4,350 4, baht. And then something that's also awesome that we just learned is that he, he is, and he's 20 years old. So he has, he's, an ama he's the main chef, him and his mom and his dad, they all cook, uh, but he was the head chef for the meal. He did an outstanding job. I fully support him. He has a huge future and yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna be a, a force to reckon with, with Thai seafood. What an amazing chef. Um, yes, cool guy. Thank you very much. Keep it up, man. You're an amazing chef. You're an amazing chef, yes. Okay, so we have come to the end of, that was an amazing seafood restaurant, an amazing meal, and what made the meal for me is the family. The family, they're so cool. They actually sit with you, they talk with you, they hang out, they make the experience. But okay, the food is fantastic. The seafood is fresh. The seafood tastes exactly like you're in Trat, yet you're right in the neighborhood, in the heart of the city of Bangkok. What an experience, what a just wondrous, Thai seafood meal in Bangkok. One table. A big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video, instantly notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.